hello everybody dp scorpion here and we are back with our tussert campaign now i am excited tomorrow is the first patch for total war pharaohs in there with some rework on things like chariots storms dealing more negative effects uh, some multiplayer desync issues which is great because as I mentioned before, I do play this with a friend of mine. Okay. So, now, let's try and remember what I was doing. Okay, so yeah, I was recruiting these slingers here. Because we have the ambition, and we'll get auxiliary sharpshooters. So yeah, no, we want that. Um, as far as anything else... Um, we have this for training... I'm trying to think of, let's see, diplomacy real quick. Are we at war with anyone at the moment? Uh, no, we are not. Okay. So we're not at war with anyone at the moment. Uh, let's see, beetle, 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 beetle. Here we are, beetle. They have no relations with anyone. That's pretty good. Strength rank 26, settlements 3. Okay. So yeah, we might go for the beetles next. I feel like that would just be a good little addition to our empire. Because see, we should be right down here, I believe. Yeah. So it would just be this added little territory here. Here's the three settlements. Yeah, so that's probably what we're going to do, is just expand northward. Take out this. So yeah, that's what the plan will be. Um, we're recruiting over here with Damon the Scorpion. Mainly just to kind of get him some troops, get that benefit. Uh, her, I think we're just kind of replenishing real quick. This should be done in a turn. Yeah, both of those should be done in a turn, and then we can start moving up. Construction available. Uh, what would that do? More wood by 10. Honestly, not worth it at the moment. Uh, this one is my stone, so that's a good one. This one does gold, which is always nice. Um... That's also the one like closest to where we're about to be at war with people. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this. We are also going to throw in a lookout. Yeah. Now we could construct it instantly for 180 gold. But that will we'll wait a moment to do that. Okay, construction, garrison general not move. Yeah, we know we didn't move her. So yeah, we have all that taken care of. We have it where we like. Like I said, this, we're going to come up here. I think it should just be those three settlements. Yeah, that's all it is, is those three. So if we come up here hitting Achnar, one, my Egyptian, my Egyptian will never be good, so I'm going to mispronounce it a lot. Yeah, if we hit this place, move up to 10. If he has an army here at Abju, he should bring it down. And the first place he'd reach is the one here being defended by Damon. So yeah, we should be in a good shape there. Because if he tries to bring it up, then we can cut it off with Tus uh, threat. So yeah, we should be good. Um, Yeah, well, in turn there. Uh, our husband's up there, not, I mean, he took that settlement, but otherwise he's not really doing much of. The little chess piece, if you guys are playing, don't go to war until you're ready. They have, you know, royal guards already. Uh, da -da. Woohoo! Our civilization's prospering at the moment. That's always good. Uh, command prior to instantly add its production to your treasury. Ground gain uses of expert builders, which allow instant constructions for free. The more regions your faction owns, the more uses you gain. Okay, uh, that sounds nice. 
units recruited, units recruited, construction completed. So we did get construction completed on the farm, which is nice. Learning we needed that, uh, like we needed that a lot. So we can complete something instantly. I'm kind of thinking about this outpost, but let's see, what else do we have? Um, I mean, that finishes next turn anyways. I mean, we could do this and just go ahead and insta-finish it. I mean, that wouldn't be the worst. Uh, da -da. Yeah, none of this stuff can we do. We don't have enough workforce to move it. Uh, yeah, so that's something we can't do at the moment. Da -da -da. Yeah, so kind of tempted about the outpost. I do feel like that's probably just the best use of it at the moment. So yeah, just go and do that. Now we have more in the outpost here, which is good. Uh, and no, that makes me happy there. So we're going to recruit some more over here. The militia slingers are cheaper, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and recruit two more of those. Because maintain, yep, six. So it, that is working like we wanted it to. Yeah. I kind of want to wait because we're going to have that done next turn. Yeah, so we'll wait on that. Guide Egypt. Yeah, I kind of left myself in a bad position there. My chariots are taking pretty heavy attrition, actually. I know this land. Yeah, the rest of the army seems to be doing fine. But... Let's see, what do they have? Resistant to heat. No attrition in deserts, yep. So because of the horses, we're actually taking attrition heavily on our chariots. Okay, that's that's actually good to know. There we go. Three pending actions. Settlement upgrade, construction available, yeah. We know about that, don't care. So diplomacy. Yeah, we're not going to declare war on him yet. Um, let's make sure nothing changes. He has trade partner, but that's about it. Uh, military access. Are we actually not trading with anyone? Okay. Um, let's see. SETI. Okay, so he has plenty of food. That's good, actually. Let's negotiate. Um... Barter agreement. Let's see what we can get him to offer us food-wise. So, ideally, we'll want to be able to get out of the hole with it. So, I'm thinking 800. Okay. Now, he does want gold. We're making 81 a turn. So let's say we were to offer, so for 10 turns, if we spent our 80 gold, we'd actually almost have it. The other thing you want a lot of is wood. So let's say, I don't want to do all my gold. We make 192 wood per turn. So let's say we were willing to give 100 of that. And... Uh, let's go 92 91 okay there we go so 750 food 91 wood and 30 gold for 10 turns sounds great beautiful okay so, yeah, now our food situation is much better. That actually helps out quite a bit. 
we're still making gold, we're still making wood. So yeah, everything about that really went in our favor, I feel like. Um, recruiting there, we'll go into intern. Do, do, do. Okay. Knowledge is power. Advancing. Oh, crap. Our destination. A judicious um, yeah, we'll go into stance ambush because I was not expecting that. Egypt. Ready for battle. Always be prepared. Follow my direction. I mean, that gets us out of that. But that does put us right there, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Because we're not at war with them yet, so... Um, we're up to eight, so we need two more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick in some archers. I know they cost more, but we do want to make this into an actual army, too. We're not just trying. We're trying to get the benefits, obviously, but we also want to turn it into a real army. Okay, let's see. This would... Increase food by 60 per turn. Is that all we'd get? Yeah, so that would just be 60 gold. This would increase happiness. Stone. And we could do one of these. Okay. Or this one. We could increase our gold. Let's see. Gold plus 10%, gold construction cost, uh, happiness minus one, okay, that actually is pretty good, that's what, two workforce, so I think what we're going to do first is just go ahead and get this to tier three, and then, yeah, we can go for that building, I think that's just the best for us, mm. we're recruiting, We've spent our money, we've spent our resources, outpost, we can still do some outpost. Economic, I mean, that's never bad. I do kind of like the whole, yeah, go and get another shrine up. I do like getting the shrines up. Okay, production. Okay, I got that there already. Um, that'd give me more influence, so yeah, we'll go and do that. There we go. And turn. So, if anyone was wondering, like, when I'm not playing Total War Pharaohs, because I am playing it in my spare time as well, and I'm playing it with a buddy of mine, so I actually have, like, three campaigns going at the moment. I am thoroughly enjoying it, can't wait for the blood pack to come out. And I know a lot of people have issues with the blood packs because they do charge for them. My thing is they do a decent amount of work with the, you know, different effects and particles and all that. So I'm fine with that. It, I'm, honestly, it's something that the game doesn't need, but I do like. So I can live with that. Uh, 715 bronze, 86 wood for 2500 food. You know what, actually I'm going to take that. I can give up the bronze and stuff. And that gives me more food, which is nice. But yeah, so I'm fine with them charging a couple of bucks for the blood pack. I mean, I want it, I like it, but it's not needed. And I, I acknowledge that it's not something that's needed. I just feel like it adds a lot. I will carve out a legacy. Okay, so let's see. What exactly are these? Levy Javelin men, Nubian bowmen, Nubian longbowmen, Herborough archers, Upper Egyptian archers. What's the differences? Range 150, 150, 230, dang, 150. Missile damage 23, 35, 23, 29. So these guys are just the ones that definitely seem like the best. 
68, ammunition 18. So the other ones all have more ammunition. These guys take 28 bronze per turn and 158 food. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so I get one of each unit. That, okay. No, that's perfectly fine. I am going to go and recruit one to Damon's army. Wait, I thought I was. Be a longbow man. Come from. There we go. Yeah, there we are. That's nice. I like that. Um, recruit. Back to regular ones. So we have more than enough range now. We need to start getting some other troops in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, we'll go and upgrade that. Strategy is key. So I do believe. Uh, let's see. I mean that the problem is we know that big army is right up there. By my guidance, a chance to rest. So that's the one problem we have, is we know that the one is right up there. So I think we're going to try and give it another turn for him to leave. We'll get that little bit of replenishment and try to give it a turn for him to leave. I think that's in our best favor. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. Ha <laughs> ha. These are the worst ones to go up against. So I want war with them already. I guess. Oh, that's going to be rough. Yeah, now that's going to be rough on us. Our entire northern uh, campaign just became a crap show. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, I have three campaigns going at the moment. I'm having fun with all of them. Uh, I have one of Seti, of course, the Tarsir here, and then I have one as Bay. That's what I'm doing with my buddy. He's playing Ramses the Third. Uh, I fight for Egypt. Uh, yeah. We are at the height of civilization. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and move him up a I little. Egypt. Recruit some this more of these guys. There we go. Yeah. I think this is the right call here. Uh So I don't have enough to do that yet. That's fine. Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, event. There we go. But whenever I'm not playing this at the moment, in case anyone was wondering, I'm actually playing Digimon World Next Order over on my Switch. I'm playing Gears Tactics on my Xbox. And over on PlayStation, I'm playing a couple of different games, but the main one at the moment is Soul Hackers 2. Uh, on Switch, I'm also playing Monster Hunter Rise, so that's a lot of fun. I think I'm using the Gun Lance right now on there. So I have a couple of different things going. I, of course, also have a Baldur's Gate uh, game going on uh, my PC here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so these guys, what do they want? Eight turns of 135 stone, and they're willing to give us 279 food. They also want us to give them four gold and 161 stone. Yeah, no. Hell no, that's a horrible deal. 
Wait, all you did was take down the gold you wanted by like four and add an extra turn. No. I'm not being swindled by you. I will destroy you. Okay, I have at least 2,000 gold. That one's not happening. Construct a resource type building producing wood. Uh, construct a resource type building producing bronze. Okay, so neither, none of these are really ones I feel like are gonna go over well. Uh, the wood might count the port settlement that I can upgrade. Let's hope it does. Okay, so we got the food researched. That's nice. Diplomatic relations. Stone. Experience from battles. Affinity with the forest. Uh... We're going to go ahead and go for the perpetual dedication here for another god dedication slot. We could also go for this, which does wood, down to this one. But that gives us work first when temple completed, plus three. Eh, and bronze. Yeah, no. I think over here is the better one. So we're going to go with that. Plans within plans. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, and then the other one. Yeah, we don't have enough stone. Okay. Warrior of Egypt. Okay, how much do we need for Sans Encampment? We need... 50%. Okay. 50% exactly. There we go. Da -da. Dancing camp. Recruit. Two more conscripted axemen. Okay, so this will give us. Yeah, it it's, hurts our food a lot. I I fully understand that, but we should be able to take these pretty quick once we start hitting them. Future queen. Yeah. Okay. Um, these guys. Plenish fully in. Okay, so, they're at least doing well for themselves. Uh, food, I mean, we have quite a bit of gold we're producing now, so if we need a food injection, we can get it. I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end there. Seti's taking some damage, it looks like. Not, unfortunately, he... His armies are kind of like mine. They don't have very many good units in them. So that is unfortunate. Yeah, there, there's that guy. I guarantee you he has a just stacked army. Oh, look, that dude came out. Oh, is that the 20 stack? Oh, they're bringing guys down the river to attack us. That's lovely. Okay, so there's 13 units in that one. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, 13 units. What's my garrison over here? Nine. I mean, it's not a bad garrison, but it's not necessarily good either. Okay. That being said, I do think it's time... Unless these guys made, like, friends with someone, I do think we're going to go ahead and hit them. Let's see. Trade partners. They have two trade partners, but no one that actually, you know. Oh, wait, no. Where's my little... Where's the, where's the little beetle? There you are. Minus 20 to factions attitude, minus 8 reliability. Sure. Okay. So, that does declare war with them. That's fine. We kind of figured that was going to have to happen anyways. Knowledge is power. Break them down. 
Remain vigilant. Okay, beautiful. We can go and take out both his little army here and his little garrison. I do like that. Go and fight this. Here we are. Okay. So we're going to want to hit the archers obviously pretty hard and pretty quick. Um, we'll have these guys up front, the little spearmen. There are worse units and most expendable. We don't actually have that much range in this army, but that's fine. Oh, another thing that they're doing, I saw in the little patch, is they're going to be cha adjusting how quickly armor goes out for uh, the excellent quality, medium quality, and stuff like that. So, that's actually nice. I like that. Because while you're fighting in this one, your armor does tend to get dinged up, damaged, and it makes it where it's less effective. Which is nice, because that's actually very, you know... Realistic, your armor won't last out an entire fight without taking dings if you're being hit and everything else. So it is nice that there's actual, like, feels like consequences, I guess, for the battles going on. That take them off skirmish mode, take off skirmish mode, put into melee mode. That guy's on a chariot too, that's something to keep in mind. These are clubmen. Okay. So yeah. Club, I mean the brace, but we should still be able to get through the brace and deal quite a bit of damage. Yeah. That was an absolutely devastating charge we got on them. We'll go ahead and get the chariots out of there. No real reason for them to stay. Uh, bring these guys around. Bring them up. My range can go ahead and move up. Go ahead and do that one into melee mode. We're going to charge right in. We should be able to hit hard here. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, chariot on chariot, I'm sure it's not going to do much, but... Okay. You can go ahead and get out of there, lady. You wasted some time, which is beautiful. Yeah, the chariot on chariot battle I knew wouldn't do really much, but... That's not what the point was. Oh, wait. Yeah. Actually, you know what? These axe can strip guys can come up. Charge these guys. Boom! Oh, yeah, that was a good charge. We got that charge in really good. Uh, we're about to hit in the back here. Uh, now we need our guys to stop firing at will. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. We want to deal a little bit more damage. At least I do. Mainly to these archers. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean up some of these archers real quick. Okay. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and go finish up those. Getting rid of him quite nicely. 
da, da, da. yeah we're really you know hammering away these clubmen now there's the line unfortunately yeah we're not gonna be able to reach those archers that's just the sad truth <laughs> okay, but we were able to shoot them. So we got quite a bit of damage dealt on them by shooting them. That's good. Uh, yeah, in battle. So yeah, that was a good battle for us. We lost 56 guys. Um, and we dealt quite a blow to the army he had here. Like I said, that doesn't do anything for the 20 stack we know he has, but... Exactly as planned. Oh, we can get a unit replenished. Sweet. We need more slaves. My learning deepens. Okay. I will the unit replenished pretty much gave us full replenishment back. Mark. Now we can come over here. Necessary. So the biggest threat he'll have here is he does still have this guy. But it will be these uh, Upper Egyptian Spearmen. Main problem is they're good against chariots. And that's kind of what we've been relying on. So we'll have to be careful with this fight. Okay, so like we've done in every siege battle so far, we're going to go ahead and spread our chariots out. Hopefully we can find one that doesn't have the spearmen waiting for it. Uh, looks like the reinforcements are going to come in here. So we're actually going to do that. Hold. Hold. Okay, there we go. So we have all of them set to hold, so the chariots should come in, and our spearmen will surround them. Mainly because we don't want to have to deal with that nonsense. Uh, our infantry. We'll go ahead and do a batch there. And... Da, 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 da. I... Da... I think the only other way I could have them is to, uh, yeah, send them there. Okay. So there we go. And then I'll range right here. Go and start battle. Let's see. Um, doesn't look like there's any of the... Spearmen that we wanted over here, meaning they're going to be guarding our chariot sides, which it makes sense. Upper Egyptian Spearmen. Upper Egyptian Spearmen. Oh, crap, he came in from an entirely different area. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, our spears are kind of standing over there looking like dorks. So, yeah, we're just going to have her shoot at them, I think. Because we do not want to actually fight that battle at the moment. We're having the spearmen come up. Because, yeah, unfortunately that didn't quite go the way we wanted. Okay, we'll get the... Oh, yes, yes, come out with these. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yes. Okay, beautiful. That just helped us out so much. Okay. 
Shoot them down! Carriers into position! So we didn't get a good charge on the archers, but we did do enough. Okay, these spearmen. Okay, they're out. We're going in. So, usually you don't want to get something, you know, like these chariots involved with these spearmen, but the fact that we're able to hit them in the back, yeah, that, that will just make it go well for us despite the bad matchup. Yeah, they were too busy having to deal with the uh, uh, clubmen we have here, so we were able to just absolutely devastate them. Okay, we're gonna go and yeah, we should be able to eradicate that one. Yeah, there we go. The rear charge was really able to do the defining factor there. Took him out. How we doing over here? So these clubmen are still holding on pretty well. We're gonna move all our units right here, so we should be able to hit these slingers. We're actually going to have these chariots move over. Uh, okay. The two clubmen. I need you guys to get in here. Uh. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay. We should be able to hit them now, which is what we wanted. Get some close-ups of this. Come on. <laughs> uh, they're going to run out of our range, it looks like. That's fine. Oh, oh crap, 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 crap. Move, move, move. Crap, I got my, I got my chariots, uh... Stuck in the battle with these uh, spearmen. My bad. Stay sharp. Stupidity will be your downfall. Okay. Go and get the charge on him. We want to pull through. Yeah. Destroy them. You want to pull through that fight. Gonna do this. Come on, pull through. Yeah, we took some damage there, but that's their general, so that, you know, it makes sense. We took damage there. It's not what we wanted, but couldn't really help it. Now. This should be a good charge we're able to get. He's trying to form ranks. We'll go ahead and charge from the other side as well. So yeah, that should go over well for us. Okay, we did take this area over here. Da, da, da. Yep, there it is. We broke him with it. I figured the double charge of chariots would just hit his health hard enough. To break his morale. Because a lot of times, even if it's something that would be a long fight, if you can just drop their health quick enough, that huge uh, hit to morale right then can sometimes break it. <laughs> Kick to the nut, <laughs> slice to the neck. Oh, that's amazing. I like that. Uh, yes, yeah, got about 1,300 food. That's nice. Food is always helpful for us.
and we are going to occupy. We have won the city. Okay. That actually went very well for us. Um, is this an enemy of ours? We at war with the snakes. No, no. I think we are. Uh, da -da. Let's see. The beetle, the rabbit, the donkey maybe? Swan, chess piece. No, we are not at war with the like dual snakes. Sweet. Okay, now that actually I works out well for us. Egypt in any way possible. Uh, da, da. Stone. Yeah, we can produce some more stone. I a recruit. We can't recruit much here, but we'll go and get... Honestly, we'll go and get two more slingers. Yeah. Some slingers will be helpful there. Uh, we're producing more stone now, which is good. So I could hit this trading post, but we do have to worry about the rabbit coming down. But if I could get to Abju, that that'd be helpful. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go hit this trade post. The sack value's not much, but we're still gonna take it. Then we'll move up. Okay, there we go. Five pending actions, settlement, construction, and assigned. Okay, here we are. Uh, okay, so we actually have two skill points. One more would actually finish this one. So yeah, we'll do that, just because that's useful. Um, so this one is really strong just because of the charge bonuses, but okay, so I have him mainly. So Damon's mainly on the melee defense. Okay. 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 I'll go with this. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That did take us out of the, taking us a thousand food per turn, which is nice. Like I said, we're getting quite a bit of gold now. So we should be able to do some diplomacy to get something food wise. Uh, let's see. Okay, these guys have food. Uh, single barter. Do, 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 do. Um, let's say we want 3,500. Okay. And we're willing to give him, let's go with 200 gold. Okay, that's almost enough, actually. 300 gold? 300 gold. Okay. So... So 402, we give him 402 gold, he'll give us 3,500 food, which buys us like three turns. I feel like that's worth it. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Pose, there we go. Yeah, no, like I said, that's actually just worth it. That bought us three whole more turns. Which should give us time to attack one of these settlements. I think they are both, yeah, they're both food. So we can get more food going. Uh, da -da. Uh, as far as down here goes. Uh, da -da. This is producing stone. This is our other one producing... Yeah, so probably that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now, I do think that's probably going to end it for this episode. Um, 
We did make some progress there. We took this settlement. We're set on this. We're at war with a bunch of people up north. Um, important thing is next time we should see Damon actually get to have combat. And yeah, I, I really am enjoying the game, guys. I recommend you try it for yourselves. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again Friday. Have a good one. Uh, yeah. As always, if you enjoy this, uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Um, if you want to see like my campaigns I do with my buddy, let me know. That can very easily be put up here too. And I will say we're kind of goofballs, so... <laughs> You'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, any of the other games I mentioned that I'm playing, if you guys would like to see some of that, uh, let me know. This channel is mainly for historical total wars, but I am more than willing to produce more content than just that. Anyways, see you guys later. DP Scorpion, out.